why you need to boost your immune system. Do you always find that when the colds and flu do the rounds, you seem to get them while others around you are unaffected? If this is the case for you, then you should definitely take steps to strengthen your immune system. Most people seem to pay more attention to their immune systems during the winter months, when colds and the flu are at peak levels. But you need to understand that your immune system works hard for you every day of the year, and it does a lot more than just protect you from colds and flu. Your immune system is very precious. Every one of us has this wonderful thing called an immune system designed to keep us healthy and well. It protects us 24-7 without us even realizing it. There are a number of things that you can do to boost your immune system, as you will discover in later videos of this training. But there are also a number of things that can damage your immune system and its ability to protect you against bacteria, pathogens, and viruses. At the time of writing this training, the world is gripped by the coronavirus pandemic, so having a strong immune system is vital. Do you have a weak immune system? A lot of people have weak immune systems and don't even know it. If you do have a weakened immune system, then you must do something about it fast. There are a few signs that you can watch out for to see if your immune system is weak. Diseases that weaken the immune system. There are some diseases that will weaken your immune system. Some of these are really well known, such as AIDS and HIV. These are autoimmune diseases that can significantly damage your immune system unless you get the right treatment. Some cancers will weaken your immune system too. There are also people that are born with disorders affecting their immune systems that make them more deficient than other people's. At the time of this recording, there was no cure for this type of disorder. So anyone that had this must manage it for life getting the same infections over and over. If you get the same infections over and over again on a regular basis, then this is definitely a sign of a weakened immune system. For people with normal or strong immune systems, getting these infections will only occur a small number of times in their life. To be more specific, do you regularly suffer from a strep throat or pneumonia? If so, then this probably means that your immune system is weaker than it should be. Another sign is frequent problems with your digestive system. It is also possible that more common ailments such as diarrhea, a lack of appetite, and stomach pains on a regular basis could point to a weakened immune system. A large proportion of your immune system covers your digestive system, so if all is not well here, then your immune system could be weak. Low energy levels. In some people, low energy levels are an indicator that there is a weakness in their immune system. The reason for this is that your body is spending much more energy than it should due to ensuring that your immune system works as hard as possible for you. If you are sleeping well, then a weak immune system could be the reason that your energy levels are down. If you are sick right now, can you still boost your immune system? Yes, you certainly can and you must. Your immune system is still working hard for you while you are sick, not only tackling the sickness that you have, but also ensuring that no new diseases arise. So, it needs all the help that you can give it. If you follow all of the practices recommended in this training, which we strongly recommend, and you do get sick, this does not mean that the practices are flawed. It just means that something slipped through the net, so you need to carry on the good work if you are sick. Getting a blood test will help you to understand your starting point. If you are concerned whether your immune system is in good shape and do not want to test it by being exposed to a disease, it's not a good idea, then we strongly recommend that you have a blood test specifically for your immune system. The immune system blood test will check the amount of white blood cells that you have. This is very important as these white blood cells fight diseases and take out certain cells to protect you. If your white blood cell count is low, then your immune system will be weak. Another thing that a blood test will do is check for antibodies or immunoglobulin. These are vital for your immune system because they are proteins designed specifically to attack different diseases. If you are a pregnant woman, then you can have a blood test to check if their unborn child has an autoimmune disease. Treatment can be administered if this is the case, otherwise a child could be in real danger. Autoimmune diseases can be passed through blood, so there are often genetics involved. In order to boost your immune system in the best way, you need to know where you are starting from. Do you have a normal immune system for your age? In later years, your immune system deteriorates. Or do you have a weak immune system right now? In the next video, we will discuss how your immune system works.